the next talk is uh, Memory Delegation by uh, Kai Min Chang, Yael Talman Kalai, Feng Hao Liu, and Ran Raz, and Kai Min will be giving the talk. So, does, it, does this work now? Not yet. How to go back? So, I can just use. Uh, Maybe something happened in the cloud. I lost the uh, display on his laptop. His laptop seemed to go to sleep when I plugged it oh. in. Oh, no. Here. It's here. Let me see this. No. Okay, maybe it's recover. It's okay now. Okay. It just takes time, I guess. Uh, Try with this. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so uh, I'll be talking about uh, our new model of uh, dedication called the memory dedication. And this is a joint work with Fong Hao Liu, Yeo Kalai, and uh, Ron Rods. And so this is the final talk of this session, and I know people are tired. So I will, I'm prom I'll promise that uh, I will not give any technical detail for this talk. Uh, ho but what I want to do is to define this new model of memory dedication and hope that by the end of the talk, you're convinced that this is an important model and uh, our solution is useful. So let me start with um, the standard model of uh, dedication of computation. So in this model, uh, we have a dedicator who want to dedicate some work of, to the worker. Say, uh, the delegator wants to dedicate the computation of a function f on a certain input x to uh, the worker. And so the worker does the job, compute the answer y, but the delegator also wants to know that the answer is correct. So the worker sends a proof pi, and then the delegator can verify and accept or reject the answer accordingly. And in this scenario, uh, the following are some important properties that we care about. The most important property is the computational efficiency. So we, in particular, we really want that the verification must be done faster than computation. Otherwise, there is no point to do dedication. And we also want uh, the worker's overhead to compute the proof to be small. And another important uh, complexity we care about is the round complexity. So can we minimize the number of interaction when we do the proof? Can the proof be non-interactive? And the third, uh, about the generality. Can we delegate, uh, what kinds of function can we delegate? Can we delegate a uh, general uniform function which has small, um, uh, with small uh, description complexity? And finally, we'll use the assumption. What the assumption do we need? So, so the following would be the best what we can hope for from a computation delegation. So here again, the delegator delegated the computation of f of x to the worker, and we want the delegation function to be a general function, as general as possible. And then the worker sends back the answer and the proof we want the proof to be non-interactive, or as non-interactive as possible. And we, 
we want the worker to run in a reasonable, reasonable amount of time, so we allow the worker to run polynomial time in the time complexity T of the delegation function F. Finally, the most important thing is that we, we only allow the delegator to run in time polynomial in N, which is the length of the input X and it's independent of the time complexity of the function f. And as usual, we require uh, the usual completeness and soundness, which says that if both parties follow the protocol honestly, then the delegator will get the answer. And if the worker is cheating, then the delegator will reject the wrong answer. So previously, we already know pretty good about this solution. So from previous work, we know how to do non-interactive proof uh, but it's only for low depth uh, functions, like uh, the class of fun NC function that can be represented by polylogarithmic depth of circuit. And we can actually achieve the general function if we are, we are willing to do full message interaction. This is done by universal argument. And in the last year, uh, we, know, we know how to achieve the, both, uh, the best of both worlds that we can achieve non-interactive non non solution for general functions, and this is done by Janelo L and a few follow-up work. However, this requires an expensive uh, offline setup phase, and uh, perhaps more importantly, and it's also mentioned in Evgeny's previous talk, that here the soundness property we achieve is not as good as we like. In particular, the cheating worker cannot learn the decision bit of the delegator when the delegator delegates each input. And I'll come back to this point later, but just to keep this point in mind. So the goal of delegation, again, the holy grail of the delegation is can we achieve efficient non-interactive computation delegation for general functions under reasonable assumption. And uh, here, the efficiency, optimally, we can hope for is that the delegator runs in linear time in the input because at least the delegator need to send the input to the worker. We don't know, we still don't know how to do this question yet, but in this talk, I want to convince you that we actually want more. So what do we want? We want the delegator to run in sublinear time in the input length. But why and how can this be possible? So let's consider the, the cloud scenario where our, data, our input data X is large and it's already in the cloud, say, our uh, Gmail, um, all our emails in the G Google Mail account. In this scenario, the delegator may want to compute some function about his emails, say how many emails does have Bob sent me last month, and the worker will send back the answer. And again, to verify, the worker will send back uh, the proof. In order to prove, before the delegator need to run over, I mean, need to have the input X to do the proof, but now we don't want to do it. Instead, we want the delegator to have a short certificate X of uh, the input X so that he can still verify and verify in a sublinear time in the input length. So here I change the input length N to capital N to note that the input is large. So, uh, again, so the whole point is that we want to, the, the delegator not only want to delegate the computation to worker, but also want to delegate his data or his memory to the worker. So of course, the question is, can we actually do it? Can the delegator D delegate the data as well and only keep, keep a short certificate and verify the correctness of computation in sublinear time? And uh, the answer is we can. And we'll show you two uh, new model of delegation in such as uh, that capture this scenario, which is called the memory delegation and also streaming delegation. And our main result is that we have a way to take the previous uh, compu computation delegation model protocol of like GKR scheme or universal argument, and we can turn it into um, uh, a equally efficient scheme for memory delegation and the streaming delegation. So now I'll define um, our uh, model of delegation, the memory delegation. 
So in the memory delegation, our delegator D has some initial memory X that she want to delegate to the worker. So the delegate compute a short certificate X and send uh, the whole memory X to the worker. And later on, when she want to compute some function about his memory, he send the function F and then the worker send back the answer Y and the proof pi. And then the delegate used the certificate to verify the proof pi and uh, accept or reject accordingly. So now the point is that for the efficiency, now we can hope for the delegator to run super efficiently, which means that the delegator can run in time poly logarithmic in the length of the input n and the time, uh, uh, the time complexity of the delegation function f. And uh, as before, we allow the, the worker to have some polynomial of output uh, overhead. And also, we also allow uh, the update operation. Because the, the memory is stored in the cloud, if we do not allow the uh, update operation, then the solution won't be very interesting. And here, we actually allow the delegator, uh, we, we actually allow a very general class of update function. We allow the delegator D to send a general update function G to the worker W. And then the worker W should up, apply the function G to, to the memory and um, update the memory to G, to the X, G of X. So this G can be very general, say, uh, delete all the email from the Bob, or count how many, or, or do other things about your, your email. And here, the one issue is that the delegator also need to update his certificate. But since the delegator don't have the memory, so we allow the worker to send some update information to help the delegator to update his memory. And so he tried to update the memory using the, use the update information, and he may fail, and the, or, or success, then he'll accept or reject accordingly. And again, the main point here is that this again need to be done in super efficient way. Namely, the delegator can only run in polylogarithmic time in the input length n and uh, the time complexity of the delegation of the update function g. And the worker can run in polynomial time as before. So what's the desired property of the memory delegation model? Again, let me emphasize again about, about the efficiency. The delegator needs to run in polylogarithmic time, and the worker runs in poly time. And also, we want uh, completeness and soundness. And here, the soundness gets a bit trickier because the delegator and the worker will run the compute and update function multiple times, and each time the delegator will accept or reject. And as mentioned before, there's an issue of the worker learns the decision bit of the delegator. And the nice thing about our solution is that we can actually achieve a reusable soundness where the worker can learn the uh, decision of the delegator. So, so the soundness guarantee is that when the delegator interacts with a cheating worker, where the worker is allowed to choose the input of the delegator and is allowed to learn the decision bit of the delegator. Still, in this case, the worker cannot cheat. The worker cannot convince the verifier to uh, the work, the delegator to accept uh, incorrect uh, output. And let me stress a bit more about this reusability. Um, so the, in, at high level, the issue is that because the delegator D used a short certificate about the X to compute his decision, so this decision bit must contain some leakage information about the certificate itself. And uh, this leakage bit is per input. For our memory delegation scheme, we actually have a public certificate. The certificate does not need to be secret. So this leakage does not bother us. So to achieve reusability is actually simple. However, for our streaming delegation scheme, which I will briefly mention shortly, our scheme does require the certificate to be secret. And this problem of leakage becomes quite challenging, in particular because the cheating worker has the flexibility of choosing what kind of leakage 
by choosing different cheating strategy. And indeed, to handle this question, we take ideas from the continual leakage model, and we prove new, two new lemmas uh, to handle this issue. Unfortunately, I don't have time to, talk, talk to uh, tell you what le this lemma is, but I'll uh, just refer you to, to our paper. So let's go back to state our result. So we construct two memory delegation schemes, uh, which are both are efficient in the sense that the delegator runs in polylogarithmic time and the worker runs in polynomial time. And as said before, we base our, our construction on the previous known computation delegation scheme, so we achieve the same um, um, ability. So for, we know how to do non-interactive proof for low, low depth uh, delegation functions, and we know how to uh, achieve gen delegating generating general functions with full message interaction. And our scheme has the same assumption as previous scheme. And uh, next I will turn into uh, our second model of streaming delegation. I won't have time, so I'll just briefly talk about uh, this scheme by the following example. So let's consider an example where we have a streaming of some stock ticks. So the stock goes up by point 0.1 and goes down, goes up, goes down, fast. And uh, we have an investor here, stare at the streaming and try to decide when to buy the, date, the, the stock. And this, our, our investor is a computer scientist, so she wants to do it smartly, she wants to use some complicated trading function and she don't want to do it by herself. So she delegates the trading function, computational trading function by some worker, online worker. And so as before, uh, the worker will store the data and uh, our investor, to verify the correctness of the output from the worker, the investor need to keep a short certificate of the data stream. And this is different uh, from our memory delegation scheme model because now the data stream arrives constantly at a high rate as you can see from the previous animation. And uh, so ideally, the delegator should update the certificate by herself or by himself. And luckily, we can do so because now the update is very simple. Each update simply append one more data item from our data stream. And this is very different from the memory delegation scheme where in the memory delegation scheme, we allow the update to be a general update function but on the other hand, we allow the delegator to get help from our worker to help to update uh, the certificate. Um, so as, a result, as our result, we can also construct a streaming delegation scheme. And again, based on the previous work, so we, so, so we can achieve non-interactive proof for low depth functions, and we can delegate general functions for full message with full message interaction. But here, um, for the computation that I mentioned before, we need to use a stronger uh, assumption of fully homomorphic encryption scheme. So uh, this actually ends up my talk. So for conclusion, we construct efficient memory and the streaming delegation scheme. Uh, again, uh, it's non-interactive proof for low depth function and the full message proof for delegating general functions. So, uh, so we think that um, what's left, the most interesting open question is to achieve the holy grail for both uh, like computation, memory, and streaming delegation scheme. Namely, uh, we want to have an efficient delegation scheme which is non-interactive and uh, allow to delegate general function. So that's it, thank you. Okay, we have time for one question. Okay, let's uh, thank the speaker again and the speakers for the session.